77% of the world's population, that is 5.5 billion people, are living in countries where the free exercise of religion or belief is severely restricted. In 2017, many people live in fear of persecution and discrimination simply because they sincerely hold a belief. The EU qualifies this as a widespread and complex problem that affects people in all parts of the world. Yet no high-level institutional position exists to deal with it. In its guidelines on freedom of religion or belief, the EU reaffirms its determination to promote and protect, in its external human rights policy, this basic freedom as a right to be exercised by everyone, everywhere. But a commitment made on paper may be neglected if no one is responsible for pulling the strings together and can be held accountable for the results. In 2016, President Jean-Claude Juncker created the Special Envoy for Freedom of Religion or Belief outside the EU, a good and necessary step. But his mandate is weak, too weak to respond to the immense challenges believers face all over the world. We need a conductor of this polyphonic orchestra that the EU is in order to strike a better and more coordinated tone on religious freedom. The EU needs a properly staffed and funded special representative of freedom of religion or belief. A serious commitment to this fundamental right demands it. The persecuted in this world deserve it and the EU can afford it.